Right guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. There's been a whole load of new activity around the alien sites here and in this video I take a look at what that's all about. Now by this point there's a good chance you would already heard about it but nonetheless in this video I wanted to take a look for myself. Before we get to that though, there's been another very interesting discovery. This one made by Commander A Reliant Owl. Now this focuses on the unknown devices, in specific the unknown artifact as well as the unknown link. Both of these can be carried up into space and you can simply drop them out. Now with the unknown artifact it's been long known that if you drop it in space it points towards the system Merope. The unknown probe is a little different, it points to a completely different system altogether and you can also interact with it by using your ship's discovery scanner. The unknown link is a new device though, and as yet no one's done much experimentation with it, aside from the aforementioned commander of Ron Owl, who discovered this. Now the unknown artifact makes a very distinctive sound, just listen. And it would seem that the unknown link replies. So there's definitely much more going on with the connection between all the unknown devices and it seems they're going to need more experimentation before they reveal their secrets to us. Now I've seen in the comments a number of people saying they've had trouble getting an unknown probe. I did point this out in a previous video, I'll link that below showing you how to go and collect these, but if you go to a specific system near a pneumonia world, they will spawn. The signal source you need to drop into is a degraded emissions threat 2. It must be a threat 2. Now sometimes these don't spawn. I was flying around for about 20 minutes and one didn't spawn at all. And I know many of you have been here for many hours. What worked for me is to spend about 20 minutes here when it didn't spawn that specific signal source. I simply left the system, just hyperspaced to the next system along and then came back. Got into orbit around the ammonia world here and straight away the threat to degraded emissions spawned and I was able to be able to pick up another probe. So it's well worth trying that out if you haven't done so already and I do know that many people are trying to get one of these because you need it for the alien structure. Now the new development there at the Thargoid base has been made by a cannon and it was shown on live radio in a live stream last night. And effectively, it seems there's in some interaction between the Thargoid technology and Guardian technology. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Guardians are an ancient race of beings that lived in the galaxy well over a million years ago. Their ancient ruins can be found scattered around the star systems, and found within these ruins are a number of ancient relics. Now, the ancient relic is needed for something very specific back at the alien structure, and if you want to pick up one of them for yourself and you don't know where to come, then the planetary location as well as the coordinates for the ruins are in the video description below. Now there's been a lot of speculation as to the connection between the Guardians as well as the Thargoids themselves. Now the story of the Guardians began in the update 2.2 which was called the Guardians and it doesn't seem to have gone any further since there. But what we're about to see would suggest that there's still yet more to play out on the Guardian storyline. Now there's a lot of speculation as to the connections between the Thargoids and the Guardians themselves. Specifically, there's a bit of information that can be found at one of these sites, talking about how the Guardians, when they once went to war, created machines, biological machines, for warfare purposes. Some people believe that those biological machines eventually evolved into the Thargoids themselves. So that right there is the ancient relic that we need and what we're going to do is carry this all the way back to HIP 14909 and then enter the alien structure within. Now players have been experimenting with various objects here and attempting to get a reaction with them out of the alien machine. However the machine doesn't accept anything other than the objects it requests as well as the ancient relic. Into the other slots I've put the unknown probe and the unknown artifact and into the slot that requested the unknown link, I've placed the ancient relic. Interestingly, the machine accepts it. Now what's about to unfold is pretty dramatic, and if you'd rather see it for yourself, I suggest you stop watching now. You will need to keep a safe distance, so try and back up against a wall or something. But you need to be within scanning range of the device, and we're about to scan it right now. Now 
it's pretty hard to know exactly what's going on here, but it's a safe bet that the machine does not like the Guardian technology at all. The scavengers that are dotted around do turn hostile and they will attempt to attack you, so best to destroy them before they get the chance to destroy you. Now if you're close to the central area here, every time it pulses out, you will take damage and eventually it will destroy your SRV. These blasting pulses also destroy the unknown artifact, the unknown probe, as well as the ancient relic. In fact, they'll destroy anything that's left lying around. Now whether this is a defensive mechanism of the alien structure or whether it's a malfunction is completely open to interpretation. But what is certain is that it goes on for a pretty long time. In fact, this lasts for around five minutes. That said, it does give us time to appreciate the fantastic visuals here as well as the awesome sound effects. Now if it looks hot in here to you, that's because it is hot, you'll also start taking heat damage if you're too close to the central area here. Sooner or later though, after five minutes or so, it will all shut off and return to silence. So then, an amazing, if somewhat terrifying event. It seems to me then that this alien structure, as well as everything contained within it, hold many more secrets that are yet to be revealed. If you'd like to see the video where Lave Radio participate in this event along with Canon Research, then I'll link that in the video description and you can go check it out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.